We had just adventured our way across Nevada with our nephews Anthony and Francisco. Alpine lakes, ghost towns, glaciers, 4,000-year-old trees. We had already seen so much, and we were just getting started. With some awesome adventures in Nevada under our belt, these four travelers were now ready to take on the great state of Utah. So we took off to our next exciting destination, Arches National Park. If you haven't done this drive before, man is it worth it. The landscape is just striking. Conversations in both the bus and the Prius circled around the same reflection. When you drive through this landscape, you feel like you're driving through Mars. The red dirt, the harsh sunlight and unrelenting heat, it carries its own humbling power. It's simply an amazing part of the world. Chico, over there. Chico and I had zipped ahead of our slow going Bobby so that we could secure a campsite and have it ready for the bus to pull in. We couldn't believe our luck that this is the spot we got. With Bobby Bus tucked away at the campsite, we were now free to explore Arches National Park. Get your hands forward. <laughs> forward. Forward, more. Uh -huh. The boys were lucky to experience both a sunset 
and a sunrise in this surreal landscape. Hey Anthony, you get to see the sunset and tomorrow you're gonna get to see the sunrise. What do you think? It's very cool. Look at the sunset. Yeah. When we took a picture, it looks like a like a mirror, like a space. Like, woohoo! Break this the earth. How lucky are we all that this area was protected and designated a national park? Every year, more than 1.5 million people visit this park and it's easy to see why. The rock you see here is sandstone that was deposited in the middle to late Jurassic. Joints in the rock were slowly carved into fins by the forces of erosion. Windows formed in those fins, and then eventually, arches. It is very cool. All right, so we got really early this morning for sunrise. We are inside of Arches National Park. We're gonna go see the sunrise right behind the delicate arch. Yep. How you feeling right there, Anthony? I'm right there. You're cold anymore? No, I'm not cold. People look like ants. Yeah, far away. The Chico right here hiking with flip flops. Tired yet, Anthony? Yeah. You doing good? Careful. You can see like an arch right there. Uh huh. First rule of hiking, slow but steady wins the race. Almost there, guys. Come on, Anthony. Yeah, this afternoon. Yep. Gold. The mission here was to catch the sunrise from right behind the most famous arch in the park. Unfortunately, these three sleepyheads got up just a little too late. Though I'm one to talk, I was the one back in the bus getting a couple extra hours of Tia sleeping time. So they missed the moment that the sun peaked over the horizon, but they still caught the rest of the experience. The early morning light, that slight chill in the air, and the magic of golden light dancing on the red sandstone. Are you going to do a picture for the Tia Yeah. Oh, look at that sunrise!
Come on, guys. Careful, Anthony. Probably not. Careful, are there no running? Uh, look to your right. Careful, careful. These are the moments that we hope really stick with them. All joking and banter aside, which is a staple pastime in Jose's family, by the way, sights like these stay with you. We hope this brief visit with Arches National Park really stays with them. Is it right, Chico? Are you flip flops? I told you it was going to be a walk in the park. It's a walk in the park. Where do you think we're walking? Is it in a park? Right, Anthony? <laughs> How's it going, Theodore? Tired. What do you think of the arch? I think it's really good. This is a really good picture. How are you, Chica? Chica's not ready for this. We're built different. Yeah, we're built different too. We build the shoes. Chica's build the flip flops. <laughs> Take a video. His shoes. Take a video. Take shoes. For hiking. <laughs> yeah, I don't want my feet too small. <laughs> Why do you think about those shoes for hiking, Anthony? I think they're really bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a beauty thing. Look at that. That looks like a. That looks like a. A volcano right there. So after their sunrise hike, they went to go check out the longest arch in the park. It is 290 feet long and could collapse at any minute. In fact, in 1991, a portion did collapse, and now visitors are not permitted to stand underneath it. At any time, this arch could be lost, so it's a gift to see it while it's still intact. All right, we're back in the car. What do you think of the hike, Anthony? Good. That was pretty cool, right? Yeah. Who felt? Chico? Yeah. Why? Yeah. I fell. Yeah. Let me see your pants. <laughs> you can't see it. Mm, exactly. Your pants are all dirty. Why did Chico almost, almost fell? Because he's a punk and he's never going to get McDonald's. And what about the shoes he's wearing? Chunk like that. <laughs> the next day we spent a day exploring nearby Canyonlands National Park. Another absolute treasure. What do you think? This is really cool. Yeah. Like oh, how old do you think that one is? I'm like a uh, hundred years old. Maybe. It's almost as old as Tio Luis. <laughs> he's 40 years old. Yeah, he's basically a hundred. <laughs> right, Tio Luis? Like <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hi, YouTube. Hey, it's me, Anthony. Oh, look at that. Oh.
Checo living on the edge. Whoa. I could survive that. <laughs> probably, probably not. You know, Chico's right there. Uh huh. Right there. Yeah. What is hanging with his fingers? And what are we hanging out with right here? Rocks. Yeah. Red, brownish rocks. Yeah. What are you doing here? You're not red. Let me see. Huh. It's kind of whitish, isn't it? Maybe it came from one of the whiter layers. We survived. Careful. You got him, Chico? Yeah. Okay. I don't know if you should go here, Anthony. I don't think I we think, can go around. I think this is our... Let me go check it out. Yeah, the two Luis sacrificed himself. <laughs> For the good of the crew. Yeah, definitely not. Not right, Anthony? Nope. What do you think of this place? It's a really cool. Yeah. So how old is this place? I'm gonna... Years ago? Chico, what do you think? Amazing. <laughs> it's amazing, right? Because we're best brothers. Best brothers. This sounds so soft. I know. Huh? We made it. Anthony, where are we? In the arch. What do you see here, Anthony? I see a really big view that's desert. Yeah. And a lot of rocks. A lot of rocks. Oh, that's really cool. It's a really big Canyonlands is a geologist's dream. Here, layer upon layer of sediments were deposited over millions of years most originating from the ancestral Rocky Mountains. Over these millions of years, these sediments formed a layer cake that eventually hardened to stone. About 20 million years ago, this entire region was uplifted and then erosion set to work. The canyons you can see below carve into more than 150 million years of geologic history. A lot of people wait a lifetime to see these amazing natural wonders. How lucky are those who get to experience them with all the energy and curiosity of youth? Oh, there's a lizard! Oh, there's a lizard! I see it! Aww, where? I don't, wait, I don't see it. Anthony, don't go to it. Oh, yeah! Ooh. The orange one? Oh, the little one. The one from the map. Oh, they're all attached together, aren't they? <laughs> this is when we took Sancho on an awesome canyon road. We wish we had a 4x4 so we could have done the whole road, but we know the limits of our little Sanchito. So we did just a little and then headed back to the main road. What do you think? This right here is one of the blessings of having Sancho. 
our little Prius. Without a car, little day trips like this would be a lot more difficult. We would have to move the whole house, which is quite an undertaking. By the end of our time at Arches and Canyonlands, we were all pooped. But the fun was far from over. We had only made it through 450 miles of our 2,000 mile road trip. And there were a lot more adventures right around the corner. Our next destination was a very exciting one, especially for Tia Cora. We were now en route to the state of Colorado where we would not only see some amazing places, but also get to visit some of my family. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's first enjoy this incredible drive. What is it about the open road? Especially in places like this, big sky country, as we say in the States. What is it about the road that invokes that sense of freedom, of exhilaration, is it something in our genes as a species, that same pole that drew our ancestors to eventually spread across the entire globe? Or is it something else? I guess we'll never know. Our first stop in Colorado was Mesa Verde National Park, an important piece of Native American history that we really wanted the boys to see. Our visit to Mesa Verde National Park was brief, but still so fascinating. These here are called kivas, round underground rooms that were used for both everyday and ritual purposes. I think they had like where the air came in, then they had these two stones that helped concentrate the air to like flow faster towards the fire. What do you think this was? This was their house. Yeah. Yeah. Mesa Verde is one of the most significant archaeological sites in the USA. I can see people. Look at them. Mm-hmm. I see people over there. I see them. Mm. I think that's great. This hmm? destroyed. Yeah. Just destroyed. I, but maybe that was like another granary spot. Here you can see impressive cliff dwellings built by the ancestral Puebloans, an ancient Native American cultural group of this region. These incredible structures were constructed in the 1300s, built high up on the cliffs, accessible only by ladders, rope, and sometimes even just footholds carved into the stone. 90% of what you see here is original. Every decade since 1930, the National Park Service does stabilization work to help keep the site standing. It is amazing that so much is so well preserved, which is why this site is so important.
And then we took off to our next destination, which again was extra special for Tia Cora. My sister Hannah and brother-in-law Daniel have a farm in Durango, Colorado, and our route was passing right through there, which meant we got to visit my family, which meant so much. And this was also the first time any members of our two families were to meet. Hannah and Daniel's farm is called Tierra Vida Farm. They practice regenerative agriculture here, which you should definitely look up if you're not familiar with it. <laughs> she makes a lot of music. She's gonna ram you, Chico. You're challenging the goat. <laughs> Does she have socks? Aww. She's super friendly. Sweet. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, look at her ear. Yeah. Did you feel how soft it is? Yeah. So he's like, I'm in heaven. <laughs> I love this dog so much. Chico, did you pet one? Oh. What a nice little goat. Very nice, right, Chico? They're very friendly. You like to have some goats, Anthony? Yes, I do. They will hang out with your cows. Yeah. Look at their, look at their claws. They're called hooves, right, Hannah? Hooves. Whee! Is that a magical chair so they can sit? Yeah. You don't like me. Mom, look, Mom! Anthony, do you think you want to try some goat milk? I don't think so. She is a big horse with a lot of hair. If you remind me later, I don't have any with me right now, but if you remind me later, we can bring them a couple of carrots. Oh. They really like carrots. Yeah. In fact, when we harvest carrots, they will often hang out. I swear, they just like know what we're doing, and if we like ignore them, they'll start to like make noise until we like come and give them a carrot. They have big, That's so cute. big foot. Yeah. You sure you don't want to try feeding her? No. All right. Please. No pressure. No pressure. Did you get that, Anthony? Yeah. Zap, zap. Sizzle, sizzle. We have toast, Anthony. Yeah, where we clean all the veggies and we harvest them. And there's Zoe. There's Zoe. <laughs> and here are 300 chickens. 300 chickens? No way. No way. Remember, no not in the way. Yeah, serious. Whoa, that's a lot of chickens. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why do you have the chickens out here? Um, so this is all cover crop that they're mowing down for us. And then we're going to build a new greenhouse up on that north side. But they think we got food for them. They eat all this dry. It smells disgusting. <laughs> yeah, Jeez. Chickens don't smell great, do they? <laughs> Tomatoes too. <laughs> oh my gosh, we're, we're working on this. You gotta try these tomatoes. You we're know, working delicious. on this, we're trying. He's These will be wow. the best tomatoes you have ever I have, If you yeah. go and walk down this aisle, you're gonna like disappear because the <gasps> tomatoes are so tall. You should try it. You wanna come with me? Great. I'll make sure so that we, we can so get so back tight. out. Wanna go? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's right. 
Anthony, when you come out on the other side, you're magically gonna like tomatoes. That's fine. I bet if you were to try one of these, though, you'd be like, oh my gosh. Yeah, the tomatoes are like the best tomatoes. Try one. We need a treat. Wow, this is crazy. All right, back down. Awesome. And then these ones are cucumbers. See, like if you look way up here. Oh, I like cucumbers. Oh, I like cucumbers. No, we get yeah. pepino. Pepino, pepino. You have to keep <laughs> Have you harvested any tomatoes yet? So we can try? Oh, we got tomatoes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love garlic. I love garlic. Mix with the, um, to the tomatoes. But those are onions, right? There's onions. Or garlic. Yes. Again. Yeah. There's onions. Wow. That's a lot of garlic, guys. That'll keep the vampires away. Their dedication to soil health, farming practices, and advocacy is beyond impressive, and we honestly don't know how they do it all. It really is amazing what Hannah and Daniel do and what they have built here. Get a vida farm. Then we got to enjoy some fruits of the farm. Yummy, 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 yummy. Followed by some precious hangout time. Whoa. Hey, Anthony, say hello. Say hello, concentrate. You know what Chico can do? And your back really straight, you just hold it like this. Look, look, look. Look, look what he's doing. So you just like hold it. Hold it. And it makes your, it makes your tummy really strong. And just like that, a short and sweet visit came to an end. It's always hard to say goodbye to family, but we had a tight schedule to keep in order to get those boys to Chicago in a few short weeks. So onwards we headed to nearby Pagosa Springs, where actually this entire Art We There Yet story began. Next time on Art We There Yet. The adventure with the boys continues. From caves, to sand dunes, to even a good old Midwestern fair. All up next on Art We There Yet. Hey guys, if you enjoy this video, be sure to give us a like. Subscribe to our channel. Send us a comment below. And for exclusive content and a behind the scenes view of the Art We There Yet journey, Join us on Patreon. See you over on Patreon. Yeah, she's really cool. It's really cool, right? Hey, hey, can you mess up my footage? Okay, Anthony, I'm, I'm YouTubing right now, so say something other than that. Can I go, Oh, gosh. <laughs> All right, well. Curl up, go to sleep, sweet dreams. Uh, you got to have a bite mark right here. Did you get bit? Yeah, oh yeah, you got a mosquito bite there. Oh. Yeah, don't scratch it, it'll make it worse. Anthony, last question. Are we there yet? Yeah, no we're not. Are we there yet? Yes, we are. Are we there yet? <laughs> no, we're not. Are we there yet? Okay, just tell me one more time. Art, are we there yet? Art. Did you just click? Did the uh, name of yet? our project just click, Anthony? Art, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Anthony. Are we there yet? Art, are we there yet? <laughs> yes. If I said, are we there yet? Just one more time. Anthony's gonna get really, really mad. And, you know, saying are we there yet? When someone's getting really mad, it's not good. <laughs>
good. It doesn't sound good. Just listen to it. I will. It's annoying. So.